Hey, what are you doing today, Darren? Or what are we doing here today, rather? What we are doing is we are doing a deck with a porch above it, but it's critical that we get the new porch to come out the soffit and the, and the uh, tail end is of the truss, that they come out and match the existing. So we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna take a very important measurement. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You always come barreling out. Set myself with up for success. I got a laser measure. I got the level. Hoopar, I got the box, siding Milwaukee, tool. Melco. I got the. What's that? Tracer. Tracer, tracer pencil. pencil. I got a laser level and a 16-inch Stabila. Let's go see if we can get this measurement. All right. So level that up. Come down for my mark. Where's my mark? Oh, that's like six and a quarter. But that's not accurate enough. So let's figure it out. Six and a quarter is not six twelve. So we have another way we can figure this out. Vinyl tool, come on in here. here it is. All right, so in our particular situation, we ended up grabbing a longer level. We stepped it up to a three foot. And you know, remember that was at six and a quarter? Well, shingles vary. And so I got myself a longer span. I took it out to three feet. And we're just under a 712 slope because basically you just multiply it for three feet, 36 inches. Three times seven. Three times seven. Yep. And I ended up being like 20 and a half, 20 and three quarters. But this is the measurement you need. If you're ever ordering, you need it right from there to the top plate. Now, see, I pulled the measurement right straight down because that sheathing really should have ran all the way up there for, they did. So the measurement should go to the top of the double plate to the top of your truss, plumb line. They're gonna need that. They're gonna need that to order your trusses to get this soffit to match when you do an addition or a porch. Okay, so we're on a different roof, but I wanted to clarify how we measured the roof pitch. Here, I got a 16 inch level here, but I have made a 12 inch mark. So you would level that up and you drop down. And so, it, for example, this one measures roughly 412. I know this is a 412, but if you want to take a, get a more precise measurement, this is three feet. So let's level it up. This is right on three feet, right there. So you just take whatever your measurement, multiply it by three, since we are more than, we're three times 12, there you go. 